Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the random process. Today we will discuss about wide sense stationary process. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute. What we have discussed so far is, we have discussed in the last three lectures related to the stochastic process, how you can find the mean autocorrelation and the autocovariance, and what is the stationary or called as the strict sense process. All are available on the, my channel name, Dr. Harish Garg. Now, in this lecture, we will see about the another kind of the stationary process. Firstly, we will define what is the strict sense stationary process that I discuss about here. That is, if you find the expected values of the random variable x, x square, x cube, and if all are my constant, then we will call as the strict sense stationary. But as we discuss in this lecture, that it is not an easy task for finding the moments up to the all the orders. And in other words, what is the meaning of the strict sense stationary? What is the meaning of the stationary? That means it is independent of the time. Or you can see any of the process is stationary, then what, whatever you have observed in the past will behave the same in the future. That's the meaning of the stationary. But it is not an easy task to prove it is a stationary. Why? Because it is not an easy task to prove that expected value of the x, expected value of the x to the power n, all are my constant. So, in order to handle this, we will try to discuss the weaker form of the stationary called as the wide sense stationary process or called as the weak sense stationary process. Any of the random process x of t is called as the weak sense stationary if the mean function as well as the correlation functions are independent of the time or you can say it does not change by the shift in the time like here. So that means what, whenever you want to try to find the expected values of this random process, they are same as that of the shifting of the disk. Similarly for the here. So any of the process is said to be the weak sense stationary if these two conditions are satisfied. Clearly says that what is the meaning of that? You can write this quantity as of this one also. You can see what is the difference between them? This is nothing but here. So you can see you can replace this second condition with the help of here that is also with the same one. The first example that is the first relation is whenever the random process is said to be the weak sense then it is then the covariance is also with the stationary. What is the meaning of that? Your target is to prove this covariance is dependent only on the time difference. So what is given to you that is uh, it's a time variance, it's a weak sense, it means these two conditions are given to you that is the independent of the time that means this is my constant. Then your target is to be here. So I can start with the definition of the C of x that is a covariance. Now what is that? This is nothing but my R x x t1 comma t2. What is that? This is with respect to here this is the my mu x, this is my mu x. Now I can substitute this value as of here. You can see this part is my constant. This is dependent only on the time difference. So it means this whole factor is dependent only on the time factor because this is my constant. Therefore, the covariance is a stationary process. The first beautiful remark about that, we all know that whenever you have to prove that it's a stick, then it implies that it's a weak sense stationary. But the converse is not true. So how you can prove that? Look at this example. So if you consider the random process x, a and b are independent, then you have to show this is a weak sense but not strict sense. What is that? In order to prove that whether it's a weak sense, you have to prove these two factors. In order to prove that it's a strict sense, you have to prove that ex, ex square, ex cube, ex4 all are my constant. But here we have to prove that it is not the strict sense. So what is the meaning of that? You have to prove at least one of them is not a constant. Then it means it is not a strict sense. So let's start with the ex, ex square, ex cube and so on. I can take the value of the ex here. Now since for the particular value of the t, this is my constant. So it can be written like here. So my target is to find the value of the here. This, this this and this. How you find that? You can see a and b, these are the two values which takes the value as a minus of 2 and 1 with the corresponding probability here. So can you find the expected value of the a? How you find that? This is nothing but my a times probability of the a. So what is that? This is minus of 2, 1 by 3 plus 
वन टाइम्स ऑफ टू बाय थ्री बट इज आंसर इज दिस दिस इज अ जीरो सिमिलरली कैन यू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द बी दिस इज सेम एज दैट ऑफ हियर सो सिंस ए एंड बी हैज द सेम वैल्यू सो इट्स आंसर इज अगेन बी अ जीरो सिमिलरली यू कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द ई ऑफ ए स्केयर दैट इज माई माइनस ऑफ टू स्केयर डिवाइडेड बाय वन बाय थ्री दैट इज अ फोर बाय थ्री एंड टू बाय थ्री है A and B are given to you independent, so whenever they are independent, you can write this as a product of this. So since these values are zero, it can be written as zero. I can substitute all the values at here. You can see the answer is my zero. So what is the meaning of that? Zero is my constant. This is also the constant for all the values of t. Now since both the values are constant, we can check whether this is a constant or not. How you can do that? We can find the value of the x cube because x is my here. You can find the x cube. Now you can open this bracket. Your target is to find the value of here. So can you find the value of this? This is again that's a very simple. This is a cube of probability of a. What is a a cube? This is minus eight into one by three plus one into two by three. So what is that? This is minus six by three. Similarly, you can find the e of b cube, which are here. How you find this value? Again, a and b are independent. So it means a square and b are also independent. So once they are independent, you can find this value as I like here. So here e of b is my zero. So the answer is my zero. You can substitute this value here. You will get this expression, and you can see which is not a constant because for the different value of the t, the answer is my different. Hence, it is not a strict sense. How you can prove that they are the weak sense? So you have to prove these two factors. So this part we already. the first part we already proved that like of here because this is constant for all the values of that t so it means this is my constant we can start with here we can start with the definition of here we can substitute the value of the x of t1 this is my x of t1 this is my x of e t2 now once you open this bracket now this is for the particular value of t1 and t2 they are constant this value we already computed that this value is my this is already computed this is already computed this is my 0 this is my 2 this is my 2 so if you taken them here 2 can be common so cos a cos b plus sin a sin b is nothing but my here you can see this is a function of the time difference hence these two properties satisfy therefore it's a weak sense stationary process look at the another one is there so you again your target is to prove this random process is a weak sense so what you want to prove you have to prove these two properties let's start with the first one we can start here how you can do that so since this is expected value so we can write like of here since t is my constant with respect to a so this is my sorry this is my f of a of dy because all of you know that how you can solve this one this is x into p of x dx so here a is my parameter how you can find the f of a what is that a is my uniform distribution so what is the pdf of the uniform distribution 1 upon b minus a so what is that this is my lower limit a this is my upper limit b so once you will add you will get the values as 1 upon 2 pi so since you have to integrate this with respect to a so 1 upon 2 pi is constant what is the integration of the cos this is sin of t plus a over the limit 0 to 2 pi now once you will substitute here what is the value of the sin t plus 2 pi minus of sin t plus 0 what is the sin of pi plus this is same so it will be cancelled out it's a zero which is a constant value it means the first part is satisfied let's start with the second part r of x we can start with the definition this is by definition we can substitute the value of the cos of here now how you can do that i can multiply and divide it by 2 we can use this identity cos of here now again you can how you can do that this is by integration this is cos of here plus of this now since here this is independent of the a so this is the constant quantity so what is the expected value of the constant quantity that is itself a constant value so you can see this is my same now this is integration with respect to a 1 by 2 pi is constant so this can be written as here now you can substitute upper and lower limit you will get this value as of here so you can see this is the function of t1 minus of t2 so these two properties are satisfied hence this is the weak 
sense stationary look at the another one is there again your target is to prove that whether the stationary process is a white sense that is a wss provided expected values here this is given to you so let's start with the phi of 1 what is that this is phi value is given to you if you substitute the value of this phi of 1 you will get this value how you can open the exp uh, exponential part this can be written here which is this one similarly we can start with here phi of 2 is 0 it means this value is there now here your target is to prove here now let's start with the first part expected value of here we can start with here can you solve this value like of this again this is lambda of p plus y of f of y now what is the limits are there how you can find the value of the f of y so any distribution is given to you related to y no there is no distribution is given to you related to y so what you can do so it means this this you can't integrate this like here so what you can do is you can open this value cos a cos b that is cos of a cos of b minus sin of a sin of b i can do like this way now you can open this bracket this part is my constant which can be taken outside and this value we already derived that is a zero sin is zero which is there so this is a constant for all this value of t so the first part satisfied look at the second part we can start with the definition of here again i can substitute this values i can multiply 2 and divide it by 2 now apply the 2 cos a cos b it can be written here again it is not possible to integrate them so you can apply here this is my a this is my b so cos of a plus b cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so it can be written as cos of here now we can do the expected value this part is constant so expected value of the cos of 2a plus expected value of the sin of 2a and this part is my constant so it it is written here what is expected value of the cos of 2a so zero sin is zero so this part is my zero this is zero the only pending statement is my cos of this part so you can see this is the function of t1 minus t2 hence this is the weak sense stretch look at this here so what is given to you this is a weak sense stationary so what is the meaning of the weak sense stationary it means whenever you want to write here it can be written like of t1 minus of t2 or you can write this value as of expected values of t1 expected value of t2 now you can see that whenever now here this is single parameter about that but whenever we are talking about this this is a two parameter how you can do that you can simply take this as of tau what is the meaning of that i can take t1 is nothing but my t2 plus tau i can substitute here so what is that this is expected value of t2 plus tau and expected value of what is that t2 is my here so this is now what is the difference of them is difference of one is my tau so you can write this value as here means it is given to you that it's a weak sense stationary so i can write this value as of you can see this is tau as a difference of them i can write this value as t1 minus of t2 you can see that now we can start with here your target is to find the expect uh, r that is a correlation of the y so we can start with the definition of the y so it's now y it's a y i can substitute the value of the y as here what is the value of the t plus tau this is nothing but my here and this is the y of t is my now you can open this bracket now this now this now you can this expected value you can open this one you can write like here you can see what is the difference of this t plus a t what is the difference of them is this is a tau what is the difference of this is if you take the difference what is that this is nothing but my tau plus of 2a what is the difference of this is tau minus of 2a what is the difference of this is tau so you can see this so you can see this plus this is my twice and that is the required proof of this result look at the another process it is given to you have to prove that y is my wss it means your target is to prove this for the y 
but it is given to you that x is my wss it means this is given to you what is your target is theta is given to you uniform distribution so this is my pdf over the pi minus pi this is your target it means your target is to prove y is my wss it means y is my constant and here so that's very simple we can start with the first part i can substitute the value of the y x and theta you can see they are my independent theta is independent of this and all of you know that x and product of them you can write this value as of here if x and y are my independent so now here this is independent of this you can write like here so what is the expected value of the x so you can how you can find the expected value of the x expected value is my constant so you can write this as a constant now how you can do that you can write 1.2 pi is my constant which can be taken outside integration of the cos is my sign you can do it's my zero that's my constant if the first part is proof similarly we can start with the r of y by that is the r of this we can substitute the value of the y from here you can see this is my here again this is my independent so you can write like of this and here this value is nothing but my r of xx again how you can do that i can multiply and divide it by 2 on the both side you can write like here now you can integrate them this is the integration of this this is my constant which is like here 1.2 pi is my constant of the integration the integration of this part is my sign here you can take the here this is a pi and this will be cancelled out and you can see this is the function of the t1 minus t2 this is the function of the t1 minus t2 so it means r of y is a function of t1 minus t2 hence this is a wss look at one more example are there what is given to you x is given to you random process a and b are my independent what is the stationary of the x it means you have to check whether this is true or not that's again very simple what is that a and b are my normal distribution so expected value of the a is my zero expected value of b is zero and here can you find you all knows that what is the variance of the a this is my expected value of the a square minus of this now you can see expected value of a is my zero so can you find the e of a square this is nothing but my variance of this this is my sigma square similarly you can find the value of the this is my here again a and b are my independent so you can see the product of them is my so let's start with the first part how you can do that we can start with the expected value of the a this is this one you can substitute the value of the e of a and e of b zero which is constant for all the value of the t so the first part satisfied let's start with the second part we can do like this way we can substitute the value of this and here now you can open this bracket you can do like this way once you open this bracket you will get this expression you can open this this part is my constant which can be taken outside here can you find the value of the e of a square you can see from the variance you can find the value of the e square as sigma square this value is my zero this is sigma square sigma square and sigma square common so cos a cos b plus sin a sin b is nothing but my here you can see this is the function of t1 minus t2 so both the properties are satisfied hence w is my the uh, weak stationary weak sense stationary process so this is the way you can solve the weak stationary process make sure that you have to prove these two properties in the next class we will see some more properties of the weak sense stationary till then you can simply like share and subscribe this video with your friends best of luck students happy learning